Now, tell about your father uh, joining the Civilian Conservation Corps. Well, he was only, I'm thinking he was like 20 something mm -hmm. years old. I, I think you're, you're right, I think 1937? Uh, 1937, he was born in 1917. Mm -hmm. So he and a few others in the community joined that and they went up to Pennsylvania, I believe it was. What were they doing in Pennsylvania? It's just wherever they needed someone. Uh -huh. And at that time, they needed somebody in Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. So they went up there and they were paid uh, so much per family. Mm -hmm. And they paid uh, Daddy's family $25 to send home mm -hmm. to, the, um, to the family and that was to help with their food, their insurance, mm -hmm. and any, any way that they could to help. Mm -hmm. And Daddy stayed there three months, and then he came home, and he was given $5 a, a, yeah. a month, uh -huh. and he used that for his insurance, and they fed him and did everything that they could to help him as well as help his family. Uh -huh. And then after three months, they get sent him home and let somebody else go in his place. Mm -hmm. But he thought that was great because he was helping his family. He felt like he was really accomplishing something. Mm -hmm. Wow. What did he do when he got home? Work on the farm? Oh, he worked on the farm and helped them. And then he went to work for um, the, um, it was Bell Bomber Plant. Oh, did That's he what really? they, uh huh. That's what it was called then. Yeah. And he painted at the bomber plant. Uh -huh. And that was his job until uh, he decided to come home and join the Army. Mm -hmm. And an interesting fact about that is mm -hmm. that that's kind of what brought my husband and I together in an odd side. side. He was a, on a mine planner. Uh -huh. uh, that sounds like pretty dangerous work. It was. They they were out in the ocean the whole time, and they um, looked for bombers, and they would plant mines where they thought a, a, a ship would be coming toward them, mm -hmm. and they would plant those bombs. Wow. And he had one really sad instance where uh, there was one man that was killed on site, but Daddy was trying to help him, mm -hmm. and he could never reach him. They mm -hmm. just kept holding and grabbing for each other, mm -hmm. but they, he could never reach him, and he, he watched him die, and that really played hard on Daddy's mind. So how old were you when you started working at Allen's Five and I was 13 years old. Okay, talk about Allen's and oh. uh, you know, what you were doing at the, at the store. That was the most fun place. I guess it's because I was in a little country girl that never went to town except on Saturdays. And on Saturdays, my family would go out, get a parking place in front of Henry's now. It was Allen's yeah. then. Mm -hmm. And they'd sit there with the windows rolled down waving at everybody that went by because they knew just about everybody. And so I grew up doing that. Well, my cousin was a manager at Allen's, and so she would let young people come and work. We went, uh, I started work when I was 13, and they let me work on the toy side. There was a toy side and then like a sundry side. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I would work there, and I just loved it because it was toys, <laughs> and I related to some of that, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I just kind of cleaned up everything, you know, like we dusted all the things every week, and we helped anybody that came in, and they had an old national uh, cash register, you know, where you have the buttons, you know, you had to pat, uh, push the, like the 10, 10 cents, one cent, mm -hmm. 25. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we had that to use, and mm -hmm. uh, it was just a lot of fun. We met so many good people, and they became like family, you know, because you saw them every Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just, uh, so many people. We, uh, we had to go down to the warehouse where they had all the main goods and if you didn't have something at the store you went down there and got it and brought it back you know mm -hmm. and uh, it was just you wouldn't expect a 13 year old girl to be working in a store you know you you think of older people yeah, you know for sure. but they they let me do everything you know and I met some real really nice people and am still in contact with those. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Talk about Hubert Allen a little bit. He was a gentle giant, although I was scared to death of him. <laughs> he had a little limp and so when we'd hear that limp, we knew we'd better go be doing something. Mm -hmm. He wanted you working. It didn't matter what you were doing, but you needed to be working. So I was scared to death of him. <laughs> and I know he was a nice person, but I was young and I thought, mm -hmm. you know, I had to be busy all the time with him. Okay. Now, did you go to Northcott High School or did you go to Cherokee? I went to Cherokee. I was actually in Cherokee County. Well, that's what I was thinking. Uh-huh. But I knew everybody from Cobb County. So, because all the students from North Cobb came to, came to Allen's. Uh -huh. So I knew more people from Allen's, I mean from Cherokee. I didn't know as many people from Cherokee as I did from Cobb. North Cobb mm -hmm. because they all went up, up to Canton and that, mm -hmm. that way. So I, I actually knew more from, from North Cobb than I did from yeah. Cherokee. So what was it like going to Cherokee High School? It was fun, but... It's a long way to go, wasn't it? It was a long way to go. And my parents, they didn't really take me to ball games or anything like that. And I wasn't really interested in it, you know. Mm -hmm. And by the time I got off work, it was too late to go to a ball game, mm -hmm. you know. And so I just hung around with the ones from North Cobb. Sure. So you were going to Cherokee High School and then coming back to work at Allen's? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got, um, I was in, in the eighth, let's see. No, I guess it was the ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth that I was actually working half days. Mm -hmm. I mean, going to school half days and then working the rest of the day mm -hmm. at Allen's. Oh, it was like okay. a work, half day school, half day work. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you graduated from high school, what, about 1970 or something? 1970, uh -huh. I did. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, then you joined the workforce and that's where you go to People's Financial Corporation? Yes, I graduated from high school on a Friday, went to school, went to work at uh, People's on Monday, mm -hmm. and it was quite an experience. It was just a really fun job. Mm -hmm. I guess I just like being out in the workforce. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, you were processing loans? I was processing loans. Our company, mm -hmm. uh, they had, oh, I think, 23 offices, loan offices. Mm -hmm. So they would make the loans they'd send them to us and we would process them, like deciding how much the uh, payments would be, mm -hmm. for how long and all that, and then send it to the home office and they would go ahead and finish processing them. Mm -hmm. And I did that for about three years and then I moved to the home office. While I was at uh, the loan department, the process, loan co uh, processing, Homer Barrett lived at Ackworth and he was my boss there. Uh -huh. From there, I went to the home office and there my boss was W.J. Abbott. Uh -huh. And W.J. Abbott lived in what is now the Cedars. 
-hmm. the big home right by the railroad track. Yeah. And yeah. he was there my uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. He was my boss there. Uh -huh. And then uh, they decided they wanted me to go to uh, the square in Marietta mm -hmm. to work for National Automobile. And I would be working on automobile claims. <laughs> <laughs>